Today we're going to be talking about how to suture tubes and drains in place. Um, and this is, this is a skill that's quite important for a few different specialties, just because anytime you place a tube um, or a drain and you want it sutured in place, you're trying to ensure that it doesn't fall out. And oftentimes the techniques that people use to suture things in place may not be adequate to prevent this from happening. So it is not uncommon for tubes um, or drains to fall out and it can really be a pain to, to deal with um, because you have to go back in and put it in the proper place. So a lot of headache can be avoided with a properly sutured in tube and this, this page is dedicated to trying to ensure that more people learn one technique on how to do that. You'll find as you go through your clinical experiences that many people have many different techniques that they like to use to suture a tube in place. I'm going to be showing you one technique that I think works pretty well, um, but of course do whatever you think works best for you. The technique I use is demonstrated here where basically we end up throwing an air knot um, to the skin of the patient and um, then we have our Roman sandaling here that uh, has uh, square knots tied at every interval. Um, you'll find that some people criticize this Roman sandaling technique because they believe uh, correctly actually that if one of these knots were to slide down you would lose tension. However, what I show in, the, in these uh, videos is that if you do it properly and you suture properly you'll you'll tie your knots in such a way that you'll actually make little divots in the tube that you're tying that will secure the knots in place and also will prevent them from sliding. And also if each anchor point, each knot that you have is tied properly in place, it will be very hard for them to slide because the other knots will be keeping them in place. So this is one technique that essentially gives you many different anchor points um, on the tube and does a really good job in keeping things in place. And then at the end, if you do it properly, you really can't slide the tube at all and you really can't slide the knots around. So this is, I think, a very secure technique and I, I would encourage all of you to try to incorporate it anytime you're suturing a tube in place.